Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Marlon and today I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys showcasing the setup that we use here at the Detail Sharks. We're a mobile detailing business based here in Katy, Texas. We service all of West Houston, Katy, Fosher, Richmond, Cypress. If you're in any of those areas and you need detailing services or ceramic coatings, go ahead and give us a call or shoot us a text. Anything works, we're not too picky. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna yap you guys to death. Let's go ahead and hop right into the actual setup itself. Um, yeah, let's do it. So starting off with the actual vehicle itself, we have a 2013 Ford Transit Connect. Pretty popular among detailers, at least the newer models I've seen are. I think it's the first generation, don't quote me on that. I know it's not the prettiest, but I mean, this thing is an absolute workhorse. We use it every single day, um, it drives well. I haven't had any issues with it since. And I was able to get a pretty good deal on it as well. I had adhesive left over from a previous wrap. So I had to take all that off as well as the top was completely rusted. It was terrible, but we sanded it off, took it all off and spray painted it with some rust inhibitor. So um, hopefully that takes care of that. I'm no expert on that, but anyways, moving on to the actual inside, which you guys want to see. So starting off in the back, we got most of the machines that we use here. We have the Predator 3500. This is a great inverter. My only pet peeve with it is that the carbon monoxide sensor is really, really sensitive on it. It's really annoying when it shuts down and I can't get it to turn back on. That's the only pet peeve I have with it. Other than that, great, great machine. Moving on here, we have the rigid air compressor great machine as well haven't had any issues with it so far had it for about eight nine months we use it to power the tornador right here which i have on a 25 foot reel i believe this reel is fire i love this thing so much it makes setup and breakdown just a breeze harbor freight for both of these reels actually harbor freight for both of these reels i love them i know you can turn the one of these into a pressure washer we, I know you can turn one of these into a pressure washer reel as well. I just haven't made that upgrade yet. So since we're already talking about it, we can just move down here as well to the pressure washer. 1800 Rael B. You see a bunch of guys with this for good reason. I honestly don't know why you would need a fancier one to clean cars. Maybe I'm just ignorant to the reason. Which is being fed by a 50 gallon water tank back here that directly gravity feeds into here as well as this right here which i can just open this little valve back here and water will come out to fill up buckets or clean your hands or whatever we also have this little 30 foot extension cord reel that is powered by the generator so as you can tell i like reels super efficient makes cleanup and breakdown so much easier we also have all the chemicals that we use in here um, as well as some other ones. Got the foam cannon back there. Got the blower that we use to blow out the cracks of the car. Then we also got the clay mitts that I use as well as the bug sponge in here. I like to put it in there. I always put the customer's keys right here as well. These little magnetic hooks from Harbor Freight as well. Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight if I haven't said it enough. We also have chemicals over here that we use as well as some words of motivation to get you going on some of them shittier days got some distilled water down here as well as an extra extension cord and a corded drill which does not belong to me oh yeah also we have the drill brush that we use as well as the drill attachments that's all in here yeah so now we can move over to the other section of the van actually one last thing before i move on just wanted to state the obvious here I'm fully aware as well that this is definitely not a very aesthetic setup, but it doesn't have to be, you know? I've never had a customer come out, look at my setup and be like, damn, this thing looks pretty ugly. I don't feel like you can get the job done. Nobody does that. They don't care about how the inside of your setup looks. It doesn't hurt if it looks better, but I really don't think it hurts if it looks a little bit less appealing i like it it's efficient and i built it in one day pretty much but yeah anyways moving on so moving on to the back side we have the steamer right here that we use guys i don't like even using a steamer if i don't have to so this little central machinery from harbor freight does the job just fine it things pretty much indestructible i drop dink uh tap i mean just this thing has been abused and it's still working just fine so Highly recommend it. Towels right here, dirty laundry. We got our 
glove holder right there as well, magnetic Harbor Freight. Down here we have our one bucket. Yes, I said it, one bucket. I do not use the two bucket wash method. Come for me in the comments if you will. I don't have issues with scratching cars. I use new towels every single time. Never had an issue with it. So why would I take up more space with three buckets if I don't have to? And down here we have our 75 foot extension cord reel. Don't buy a 75 foot extension cord. You're gonna drive yourself crazy untangling it every single time you have to use it. It's just a waste of time. Don't do that, get the reel. We also have our vacuum as well, four gallon rigid shot vac. Need I say more? I mean, this thing is literally a beast. Getting up all those crusty ass french fries in between the seats and such. We have the hose for it up here. I like to hang it up here. We have our sign right here. I'll, I'll show a picture of it in the video as well. Thing is awesome, great investment to make. I got it off of Vistaprint. Just a heads up, if you don't detail on a daily basis but are looking to get into it, 95% of people that come up to you when you're working and ask for a business card will never call you. They're a lot of times just tire kicking, just checking out, seeing what's going on. Send them to the sign, just respectfully of course. You know, hey, you know, go scan the sign. Um, they'll scan it and then if they choose to call you later on, they can save your information. Super convenient. We also have our ladder right here as well that we used to get on top of trucks, as well as this 10 by 10 tent. Highly recommend getting one of these as well. Just don't use it on a windy day or you could be facing some liability issues. And over here we have a table that we use whenever we're vacuuming up the floor mats just so they're not on the ground. We also have this attachment to turn our shot back into an extractor. Moving on up here, we have some polishing pads as well as some masks, from, as well as some other miscellaneous things up there. I'm not gonna show too much down there because I know I'm gonna get roasted for how much debris is on the ground, but yeah. So yeah guys, that just about wraps up the tour portion of the video. As for what I plan to do with the channel in the future, I'm not 100% set on it just yet. I'm thinking about probably doing some day in the life kind of videos featuring me and my employees, you know, being out in the field, showcasing the kind of work that we do as well as probably some tutorials and some more educational content as well. Guys, entrepreneurship is a roller coaster. You're gonna take some dubs, you're gonna take some L's. And I wanna share that with you guys, share you my failures, uh, things I've learned, so that way you guys don't have to go through that kind of stuff yourself. So if that seems like something that you'd be interested in, then go ahead and subscribe. And like I said, if you need detailing services and you're in the West Houston area, you can shoot us a text message, give us a call, go ahead and follow the Instagram and TikTok as well. But yeah, guys, if you watched to the end, thank you so much and hope to see you in the next one.